Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, I'm Julianne and this is all about my life living in Seoul, South Korea. Today, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be showing you guys my skincare routine. Over the last few months, I've been feeling a lot more confident with just having like a bare face. You guys see me a lot in my vlogs without makeup. And usually when I do do makeup, it's just concealer and some contour. But four years ago, I actually had really bad cystic acne and it was just like hormonal. So I switched my birth control and I think that helped drastically because I had the Nexplanon, I feel like I always say that wrong, Nexplanon in my arm. And I think it was just way too many hormones for my body to handle but the one side of my face was significantly worse than the other side. And so I instantly got off of that. Well, not instantly, like after a year and a half, I got off of that. And um, I went on Spirone Lactone. Don't expect me to pronounce anything right because I'm not going to. But I went to the dermatologist, she put me on that, and then she also put me on Tretinoin. Um, if you guys can see, I didn't really use this. But from TikTok, I know that this is like a really good thing to use, but I'm pretty sure this is very much expired because the last time I've been to the dermatologist was probably 2019. So everything that I brought to Korea with me is very much expired. And I stopped taking this medicine after I want to say like a year maybe I brought it to Thailand with me and I took it and I brought it to Korea with me just because I was nervous about breaking out here and then like not having something to fix it but as soon as my acne started to clear up I kind of just stopped using it so my biggest concern when I moved to Korea was getting rid of my scarring and just kind of like fixing the overall like complexion of my skin and like the pigmentation and everything so yeah i'm going to show you guys what i've been using now for some products i've been using for almost two years and other products i've been using over the last like five to six months so yeah let's get into it okay it's a look the first product i go in with is the soon jung um ph 6.5 whip cleanser i've been using this for the last about two years now they just changed the packaging actually and i love it because whenever i buy it here i don't know if it's the same on amazon but it just comes out in like a nice little foam and i really love it because it comes with like a refill so as soon as you're done you can just add a little refill pack and it's quite affordable so this is just really nice it just lathers on really well and this is without me using any water too it's just really great so i just try to massage this into my face for about like a minute or two i don't really know if there's a certain rule but i just do a minute or two and i usually focus right here because i feel like this is where my pores are the worst right in this like nose area okay the next thing i use is this exfoliant from paula's choice the bha liquid exfoliant unclog and shrink in large pores smooth even skin tone and reduces redness I only use this three times a week. I just kind of honestly use it everywhere to put it all over, but mostly my nose because I feel like that's where my pores and I feel like my cheeks too. Like I feel like the pores on my cheeks are just a bit too big. The next product that I usually go in with is the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence by Cosex. This is literally the greatest thing. I mentioned this in one of my vlogs not too long ago, actually, probably a few months ago. But I just do a few little squirts, and it's like this, like watery. But can you guys see it? It like kind of has like some goopy texture. I don't know. I feel like I'm, a lot of people think it's a weird texture, but I'm just so used to it now. My third or fourth bottle. It helps the skin to loose lose less moisture while keeping the skin smooth and healthy and i feel like this has helped me the most with my acne scarring i don't really know if that's what it's supposed to do but i feel like this is a product that i've been like lathering my skin in and i feel like it's been making my skin look the absolute best and it's just constantly dewy and looks like nice and plump and fresh and i'm just obsessed with it okay, so then there's two moisturizers that i really love one is from Dr. Althe Athelia. I'm going to pronounce everything wrong. And then this is Melixer. I was actually just sent this product a few months ago. And I really, really love it. 
It's like a green tea, um, vegan. Okay, so it's green tea, vegan, has like centella extract. And I just like literally lather this all over my face and it feels so good. I feel like it's like really cool, even though I keep it with everything else. It is just like absolutely amazing. Here I put a bunch of moisturizer on. I like, I'm gonna add some more. I like to do my gua sha. I am not very consistent with using my gua sha, but I've been seeing so many TikToks of people using it consistently and just the results that they see after a month is absolutely insane. I will show you guys what I do, but again, I'm not a professional. I don't, like, this is stuff that I've learned. So, you know, do your own research too. But you always do six, or not six pumps, 10 pumps here. And then I always take this part and this little part here and I go across and I guess you're supposed to try making the stone as flat as possible. Like you're not supposed to just go like this and be completely perpendicular. You're trying to make it parallel and then drag it down. So I do this and sometimes I do a little shake. I do this 10 times. Then I like hold here and I go up and I carry it down. Again, I do this for 10 times as well. Okay, so after 10 times doing that, then I support up here, I hold up by my hairline and I go upwards. All right, then when I'm finished with that, the last thing I like to do is go in with my I'm pretty, pretty sure it's pronounced Kahi. This is a multi balm and it is the greatest thing ever. I just bought a new one today. But when I tell you I'm obsessed with this and will use every last drop, like I am putting my finger inside and using it because I will not waste any of this product. Okay, for my under eye, I'll actually open my new package and not use my fingernails. <laughs> All right, so she is just great. And I go right in under the eyes and this will keep my under eyes hydrated for hours i am just obsessed with this my mom is also obsessed with this i was so lucky because i swear they lowered the price in korea but it was like cheaper on amazon than it was in korea but this is now 24,000 won and before i could swear it was like 35,000 won and so when my mom came, I was like, oh, you should buy a two pack because I need another one and I'm poor. The very last thing that I do is I go in with this perfect serum made in Korea. So I'm not really sure if you can buy it on Amazon or anything like that. But oh, not me poking myself in the eye. But this is what I use on, on my lashes. And then I also just kind of like run it through my eyebrows because why not? And then actually, sometimes what I usually do before the multi-bomb is I put on a sunscreen, of course, and I either use this uh, Dr. Jar or, I don't know how you technically pronounce this, Maneo? I don't know. Guys, I don't know how to pronounce anything. It's kind of just what I do. And then I do two, two finger lengths of sunscreen. Yeah, usually I put this on before everything or before like my multi bomb and my lash serum, but that's fine. I'm just doing things a little backwards. And then, yeah, this is kind of my finished look. I look nice and shiny and hydrated. Everything that I use today will be in my Amazon storefront. Disclaimer, I do make a little bit of commission if you guys use my link and purchase anything. Again, not telling you guys to go purchase anything, but if you guys do like some of the products and would like to support me further, that is one way you can do so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions or any other videos similar to this that you would like to see, and I will see you guys next time.